Hello and welcome. I'm Matt Miller, the Green Sector Development Lead at Essex County Council. Welcome back to Great Start, an exclusive initiative for Essex businesses interested in sustainability. Today, we're going to be delving into the benefits of embracing sustainability and social responsibility to help business growth. Hi, Sam. Hi, good to be back. Great to have you back. Let's start with what is a sustainable and socially responsible business? A sustainable and socially responsible business is like a smart and caring company. It focuses on three important things, taking care of the environment, treating people fairly, and making money in a way that helps everyone in the long run. Firstly, it tries to be nice to the planet. It does things like using less energy, creating less waste, and using materials that won't harm the earth. And then secondly, it's friendly to its workers and the community. It makes sure everyone is treated fairly, encourages different kinds of people to work together, and gets involved in local activities. It thinks about how its actions today will affect the people and the environment in the future. A company saying that it's good for the environment, but then treats people badly, doesn't really mean it. Both things, being sustainable and socially responsible, need to go hand in hand. It's not just a good strategy, it's actually the right thing to do. What does social responsibility mean for a business and its growth? And how does it go beyond profit making? Social responsibility for a business refers to the ethical and moral obligations a company has towards society, the people, and the environment. Socially responsible businesses uphold ethical standards in all of their operations. This involves honesty, transparency, and fairness in dealing with customers, suppliers, employees, and other stakeholders. Then there's community engagements. This can involve supporting local initiatives, charities, community development projects, education, offering apprenticeships, and working with local colleges to boost community employment. Then we have employee welfare, so fair wages and opportunities for professional development. Employee wellbeing is not just a legal requirement, it's also a moral obligation for businesses by also supporting their mental health. Businesses should create an inclusive environment that respects and values the differences among employees. I think it's important to work with local grassroots charities and not just the big ones. Grassroots charities within your community are often facing huge challenges to raise funds. They aren't being heard and they don't have the same voice of the large charities. Your investment of time and money could go much further and you could build really strong relationships that could benefit both of you. It basically, it contributes to building a positive reputation and a strong brand image. Consumers are increasingly conscious of a company's values and ethical stance, and they're more likely to support businesses that demonstrate a commitment to social responsibility. Let's delve now into some of the benefits of being a sustainable and socially responsible company. And are there any clear ones that stand out? Your community is one of your stakeholders. And the more you actively engage in community initiatives, the greater the impact on various aspects of your business. Community involvement plays a key role in reputation protection, brand awareness, and authentic storytelling becomes the cornerstone of this strategy. It not only resonates with the audience, but it also creates a positive perception of the business. The narrative becomes a powerful tool for connecting with your audience and your customers on a deeper level and ultimately can lead to increased sales in both the short and the long term. The next one is attracting exceptional talent. In the current job market, organisations that are driven by a sense of purpose hold considerable sway. 
So companies that prioritise sustainability not only draw in skilled professionals, but it also cultivates a workforce that shares their values by doing this. You're not only enhancing your capacity to attract top talent, but also position your business for further growth and increased productivity. So when you commit to sustainability, it contributes to a positive workplace culture, leading to increased employee morale and job satisfaction. Employees take pride in working for a company that values more than just profits. The companies that are demonstrating a genuine commitment to sustainability often stand out in the market. It provides them with a competitive edge in securing new business opportunities. Many consumers today are environmentally and socially conscious and they prefer to support businesses that share their values. Sustainable practices can also support long-term customer loyalty. When consumers believe that a company is making efforts to minimise its environmental impact and contribute positively to society, they're more likely to remain loyal to that brand. Repeat business from satisfied customers is essential for sustained success. It also gives you market access. So some markets and customers may have specific requirements related to sustainability. Being a sustainable business can open doors to markets that prioritise environmental and social responsibility, which expands your customer base. Some larger organisations are now incorporating sustainability frameworks like SBTI, which is Science Based Targets Initiative. They're putting that into their supply chain policies. So any supplier engaged in projects with them has to have a clear and measured carbon reduction plan. And if you if you don't do that, then they might not keep you on as a supplier and they'll look for somebody who will would be willing to do that. I believe that you can make significant cost savings through operational efficiency by being more sustainable. Sustainable practices lead to increased efficiency and reduced waste from optimising energy, streamlining your supply chains. Uh, sustainable companies discover ways to minimise costs while maintaining their commitment to environmental responsibility. I suggested to one of my clients that they remove their three printers. They actually discovered that it was being used pointlessly and ended up taking two of the three printers away and encouraging staff to only use them as a priority. Such a simple solution, but it had significant cost savings for them and made them more sustainable. Wastage around food not only contributes to environmental concerns, but also results in a significant waste of money. When you're thinking about your food orders, encourage responsible consumption. Ask the team how much food they are going to eat before you put that order in. Think twice before discarding old items, maybe give them to charity. Opt for a refurbishment or repair instead of disposal. It's about a adopting a circular approach contribute to sustainability while keeping a check on your budget but the best way to look at your sustainable cost savings is work with your finance team so where are your biggest outlays and can you make more sustainable choices that reduce the costs even some sustainable materials are going to be more a cost effective you just need to find them thanks for that some really amazing content there are there any additional insights or key takeaways you'd like to share with our listeners look at sustainability as an opportunity don't put too much pressure on yourself on your sustainability journey just start when it comes down to it it's just about doing good and who doesn't want to work with companies that are doing good Thanks again, Sam, for today, and thanks for listening.